What's going on, guys? I finished up the commentary of the EVLS Prog Pro pre-judging. I think it went well. I do want to say I apologize to anybody if it seemed a little less formal than I wanted to be. I kind of devolved into podcast form, and I maybe loosened up a little bit more than I wanted to. So it's going to take some a little bit of practice for me because I'm not used to a formal setting of a show. So uh, I think I'll get better as I go. Uh, I wasn't as... I think I got a little too comfortable to say that. So uh, yeah, I'll get better as I go with it. And I also want to say I did my best to pronounce the names. Uh, I did look up everybody and looked up all the athletes and I made sure I took time to learn them, but I uh, probably butchered some of the names. So I want to apologize. But as somebody who's had their own name butchered time and time again throughout the years, I know how it feels. And I never really took offense to it because some names are just different. Uh, that being said, the show was really good. The I'm just going to cover it briefly. The 12, 212 was good. It was basically a two-man horse race with uh, Ole Kier, Kiervi and uh, Ashkenani uh, going head-to-head. -head. And I felt like Ole really won the show. I felt like he was very complete, top to bottom. Legs were outstanding. Conditioning was outstanding. Uh, very separated. Every muscle very clear, separated. Uh, skin tone was good. Uh, oil was good. His preparation, his posing, everything was kind of bang on. Ascanani was good. I felt like his quads were a little bit downsized. Uh, his back was probably the most impressive part of his physique. He lacked a little bit of detail in comparison to Ole, and uh, I have him in second. Uh, one of the standouts that maybe fourth, I could see him in third, but probably will end up in fourth, was Peter Kovac. Just unbelievable legs and absolutely crazy conditioning like very very conditioned very very like just legs on another level so i thought i just want to make that that mention because it was so impressive to see um but yeah ole had that show i think locked up i don't know the only negative i could see in his physique was possibly a little bit of stomach distension in the lower abs he had a little bit of trouble getting to an ab and thigh but everything else was absolutely impressive so i have i have him as a clear winner uh moving forward and then so moving on to men's open hard fought battle they did a lot of you know the one thing i do like about the show is they did a lot of rounds they had a lot of got a lot of comparisons they didn't really leave anybody out so it's a four-man horse race at the top with uh rafael samson nathan and regan and it's a really tough call i have to be honest i i am going to say before the show I believed Nathan would walk away with it. But after seeing them posing together, Nathan is definitely the sharpest of the bunch. And I think if we're going to take conditioning, muscularity, everything all into condition, I, all, into, all into factor, I think, which we're supposed to, I do think Nathan should win. Personally, I think Reagan faded a little bit. He kind of started to sweat during prejudging. They had to wipe off his tan when he came back. It looked like he flattened out a little bit, like some of that sweat, maybe a little bit of glycogen came out as well. And his physique started to kind of deflate a little bit. And then actually wiping off the tan really changed the way he looked as well. So that might have taken him out of contention. Could have possibly slid him to third because I believe Samson looked really good. Now, Samson was sweating like crazy, which made him look a little softer, but doesn't have a tan issue, obviously, because he's black and he even though sweating still looked really good and he actually looked like his condition was very good it might have been the best of the year when he first came out I was blown away his legs looked very dry and uh I could see Samson second maybe even challenging first I don't know you know they really did a lot of like comparisons and a lot of like tossing around uh different positions so I don't know they didn't really give away who they have first or second third fourth the way I have it is the way I have it is it's probably going to go Nathan, Samson, Reagan, Raphael. That's probably how it's going to go. I could see it possibly being Samson, Nathan, Reagan, Raphael. I do have Raphael in fourth for sure. I'm pretty sure I have Nathan in first. The other two places could be jostled around, but if any of the four are jostled around, uh, I don't think anybody would complain too much. They all look very, very good. Raphael looked very, very good. The only problem, the only issue with Raphael is I feel like um, 
his physique from the front is very beautiful. His physique from the back is a little different. His back does not match up like his back itself, not the entire back. His back itself does not match up with the front. He needs a little bit more lat width, a little bit more thickness across the top. Um, Samson, like I said, his condition was very good. Could have been a little sharper. Samson could always be a little sharper, but I think this was his best. His shape is so beautiful. I think that's something that's going to always, always carry him. Reagan came out much fuller than the last show, not as conditioned. I would have liked to seen him more like the Legion show where he was really crisp. I think that was personally, I think that was Regan's best in my opinion. And then Nathan is probably the hardest he's been all year. Like he was dry as a bone, didn't sweat, was peeled a hundred percent. And I think that's why Nathan's going to end up walking away with it. So that's my assessment of prejudging guys. Uh, if you haven't bought the live stream going back for finals, it's at 1230 Eastern. Um, me and Melissa are going to be doing finals. Possibly Ian might jump on with us and we're going to do the commentary. And I promise you this time, uh, we'll be a little bit more professional. Oh, well, I will be a little bit more professional about it. Melissa was fine. Um, but thank you guys for watching. And until next time, live hostile. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>